Well, I hope your piggy bank stands in full because the Roblox S7 Max V and Plus are coming out within a month. Yes, it's going to cost you a pretty penny. Well, unless you've been living under a rock, the Roblox S7 Max V takes everything the Roblox S7 has, plus adds reactive AI 2.0 technology. Well, speaking of reactive AI technology, have you ever had a robot vacuum that goes around your house and you expect it to go home to a nice clean home, but unfortunately it grabbed onto your cable and it started to pull slowly until the expensive smartphone fell to the ground? Yes, that's happened with me before. So hopefully the new Roblox S7 Max V doesn't do that. So let's go ahead and test it out. Let's see how good the new reactive AI 2.0 technology really is. Well, it looks like it's off to a good start. So let's briefly talk about this new Reactive AI 2.0 technology. So basically, instead of having two RGB cameras, which was found on the S6 Max V, it relies on one, plus it has a 3D light structured camera as well. So what this allows you to do is, as the world of vacuum is going throughout your floor plan, it will see an object and it has to determine if that's poo, if it's a bathroom scale, or a power strip. And once it determines that, it will determine how close it can success to get you without causing any issues. Okay, so I tested a bunch of different world of vacuums that have this optical avoidance technology, whether it uses lasers or camera systems or a combination of both. And just doing my personal testings of these world of vacuum cleaners, they're not perfect. As you can see, with different types of lighting conditions, uh, colored cables, the world of vacuum may struggle with that. Now, if you want a 100% foolproof system, I definitely recommend picking up the cables or a more concrete solution is to use the keep out zones so it basically prevents the roof vacuum from going into a messier area. Well, it definitely did not like my blue cable. Um, one thing to note is if it does happen to wrap a cable around, uh, just remove the extractor bar and it's pretty easy to remove any tangles. That's one nice thing I like about these all rubber brush designs. Um, I know some people say they scratch the hardwood floors, just make sure that they're nice and clean each time you use them if you're worried about it. But overall, my personal experience, I haven't noticed any scratching. Or maybe my hardwood floors are just super tough, or they only scratch them, who knows. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, put these back together, and we'll try a different color cable and see if that does any better. He fared a lot better with the light colored objects. So if you like the S7 Max V, make sure you give him a big old thumbs up. He is really trying his best to avoid all the obstacles I throw at him. I know this is a tough challenge for any raw vacuum. Well, what do you guys think? Are you guys going for the Roblox S7 Max V or the Omni X1? Let me know down in the comments. I know they're very similar in price and features. Seriously, Apple, it's 2022 and you still haven't figured out how to make full screen applications for your iPad. What a sad day. Okay, so maybe someday I'll have a full screen experience with the Roblox. But until then, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the settings here and we'll check out the reactive AI settings. There's a bunch of them. Now, one thing to note is if you do have pets, make sure you turn that pet detail so it can actively avoid the poo. Well, what are your thoughts on these world vacuums? Do you think that they're getting too complex for the average consumer, or should they stick to the basics? Just over the few years, it's pretty impressive to see how far along these world vacuums have come. Now we got self-washing, self-emptying, also we got vibrating bopping systems, the list goes on and on. So over time, these computer vision systems will get better, and they can recognize more obstacles. Well, if you like this video, give me a big old thumbs up. Does help me out so much. I appreciate it. Okay, so overall, this robot vacuum did okay. Did a lot better in the open areas with the cables kind of scattered around, but more of a enclosed areas with obstacles, as you can see, kind of struggled. So the best option is to either pick up the cables or just to do a keep out zone so the robot vacuum doesn't enter in those areas. Yes, we all have cables laying around, but over time, these robot vacuums are getting smarter and Roblox is pretty proactive for buying timely updates. So stick around, I'll have a one month review of the S7 Max V and its ultra docking station 
And yes, the S7 Max V will be available for purchase very shortly. So save up those pennies and have a great rest of your day. I'll catch you guys next time. Adios. Be safe out there. See ya.